Yeah, hello everyone and welcome to my finals vlog. It's currently December 11th, which is dead day and it also happens to be my dad's birthday. If you don't know what dead day means, it's just a day where you don't have any classes. So I just got back from my allergy shot appointment and I've just been working on a take-home essay for my political science law class. And I have a few other projects to work on today. So I'm really glad that I have dead day because I'm definitely gonna be taking advantage of it. I also just made this list of all the things that I need to do this week. So the first thing is my political science take-home exam and that's due on Wednesday. And then I have my final video project for MCOM 105 due on Thursday and then I have my MCOM 100W portfolio due on Friday and my COM 144F final on Friday. So I only have one traditional final exam to do this week. So finals week is going to be a little bit less stressful for me than it has been in previous semesters. I've already started most of these projects or I've at least started thinking about what I want to do for them. So these next few days are just going to be a lot of me studying for the one final I have on Friday and finishing up all the projects and finishing the take-home exam. I changed around my work schedule a little bit, so I'm only working in the afternoons after my finals. So that's gonna give me a lot more time to get this work done. And it's also gonna allow me to hopefully sleep a little bit more so that I can actually think a little bit more clearly and get some stuff done. So I'm gonna get back to work now on my take-home exam and I'll catch up with you all later. So it's a bit later now and I just made myself some breakfast slash lunch because I didn't have any breakfast before I went to get my shot. Just a warning, this meal might seem a little bit weird to some of you, but I just needed something that was fast. So I have some quinoa and kale. I've made this before myself a bunch of times but today I'm using the frozen kind from Costco because we just joined Costco but this is actually organic and the ingredients are really simple it's just quinoa olive oil salt pepper and garlic I usually like to make things myself but I don't really have any problem eating this and then I also have some vegan fish it's kind of like tofu with the texture of fish it's from Gardein it's pretty good I usually just make my own tofu but again I was short on time and then I have a pear that I cut up because I actually really like pears and then I have some green tea in this Christmas mug this is the zest tea that I talked about in my last video and then and of course, I have some water. So that's my meal. It might seem kind of weird to you all, but I have some vegetables, I have some grains, I have some protein, I have some fruits, and I have some antioxidants with the green tea. So I guess this is at least somewhat healthy. So I'm gonna eat this now and I'll catch up with you all later. So it's quite a bit later now, it's about 5.30. And I finally finished my take home exam. I already had about half of it written before today. So it took me about four or five hours to write the other half. It was not easy to write, but I'm so glad that I chose the take home final instead of the in class final. Because for the in class final, I would have had to write all of the essays by hand. So even though the take home essay took about four times as long as the in class one would have been, so glad that I did it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yeah, and I'm really hoping to get a good grade on this. But now that this is done, I'm gonna start on my next project, which is for my diversity and media class. We have to make a video about how the media represents a specific group. And I'm gonna do my video on mixed people because I'm mixed. And I feel like the media does a terrible job of representing mixed people. This isn't due until Thursday, but I really wanna get a good start on it today. So it's quite a bit later now and I'm wearing different clothes because I just filmed the clips for my project. So now I'm gonna import them and import the audio so that I can edit it because I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to finish it tonight. So I wanna make sure that I have everything imported on my laptop so that I can work on it tomorrow while I'm at school because I'm gonna have a little bit of time between turning in my final and work. So I'm gonna do that now and probably catch up with my dad because it's his birthday. So it's the next day now and I'm just about to leave to turn in my take home final. So I'm gonna leave for school in a few minutes and I'll catch up with you all later. So I just turned in my in-class final, nothing really happened. I just gave it to the professor and now I'm in a library study room and I'm just working on my video project that's due tomorrow because I need to get this done for tomorrow and I have a few hours to kill before work. So I'm gonna get back to work and I'll catch up with you all later. So I'm back home now, it's 7.29 p.m. I got home from work a couple hours ago and then I had dinner and then I finished the video project that I was working on at the library earlier today. And now I'm uploading it to my school account because I actually have a separate YouTube account where I post all my school projects and things like that because I don't want to spam you all with my school projects but I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. So if you do want to check it out, I'll put a link to it down below. So now I'm just going to wait for this to upload and then I'm going to email it to my professor. And then I'm probably going to do some other work and go for a run. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. So it's the next day now. It's Thursday and I'm just about to leave to go to a meeting with representatives from three advocacy groups slash councils in my area. Basically, I'm meeting with a bunch of old white guys about the impact that the VTA changes could have on transit-oriented development. You probably know what I'm talking about if you follow me on social media. But VTA, which is a public transit provider in my area, is proposing to cut a bunch Roots, and I'm trying to fight against that so that's why I'm going to this meeting today. So to be honest I'm a little bit scared but they invited me for a reason so I'm gonna try to stay positive and I'll catch up with you all after the meeting. So I just got back from the meeting and it went so incredibly well. There 
just so nice and helpful and I'm not gonna get into all the details because I know that a lot of you probably don't live where I live but they're gonna help me good things are gonna be happening soon so I'm feeling really positive and excited about the future I'm not gonna get too far into the details of everything that was discussed but the main thing that I learned about this is that it's important to step outside of your bubble and go and talk to people that are different from you I'm a young mixed person who's only lived in Cambrian Park for two and a half years and I wrongly assumed that a bunch of old white guys that had lived there for 30 years would probably not be interested in helping me and I expected them to judge me because of my age and I expected them to be kind of condescending but they weren't they made me feel more supported and included than anyone has in a really long time and i'm just so thankful for that so i'm gonna stop rambling about this now and i'm gonna get started on my work i have to finish my final portfolio for mcom 100w tomorrow and i have to study for my com 144f exam so i'm gonna go do those things and i'll catch up with you all later so it's a bit later now and i finished my portfolio for mcom 100w so i just included the pdfs of some of my assignments and then i wrote this reflection right here so now that i'm done with that i'm just gonna study my quizlet that i made for my com 144f class so it's quite a bit later now i've been starting my quizlet and staring at my screen for hours and i'm honestly feeling really tired and worn out so i think i'm gonna go for a run and go to bed and then study a little bit more in the morning tomorrow because my final isn't until 12 15 so i guess i'll catch up with you all then so it's the next day now it's friday and i'm just about to sleep for my last final of the semester so i'm a little bit nervous because the midterm for this class was really hard but hopefully i'll do better on the final than i did on the midterm but at least i'll be done with the semester after this final so i'm gonna head to school now and i'll catch up with you all after my final so i just got out of my last final i'm on this terrace thing and i'm so happy to be done regardless of what happened i'm so proud of all the work i did this semester and i'm excited to have more free time to make videos and do other things so with that thank you all so much for watching this video good luck if you still have finals and i'll see all of you very soon with a new video goodbye